Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We did a vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Here's what I just did. Check this espresso out. Look at this little display. It's like the DVC lounge. I'm at the Ford dealership waiting for my rental. But it actually, our car might actually be fixed today. I did get nice and sweaty though, because uh, it's a few miles away and I got one of those hopper bicycles again. Broke a sweat. So I probably got a monster were stolen in here. Like, Where's my rental? I am home now and I actually skipped a meeting at 9.30 because of that dealership but I had to finish a report but I'm going to get um, a bulletproof coffee ready So, because I just made this pot of coffee even though I had two cups of espresso at the coffee dealership caffeine for life so here we go to start it off two cups of hot coffee follow that up with one to two tablespoons of the coconut oil and then last piece is butter, which yes, I know it's not vegan, but we said we were gonna try some new dietary things. And that includes this high fat meal replacement for myself. So this will take over my entire breakfast and hopefully longer. Then from there, you just high, you need a high performance one and then you just blend it for like 30 seconds so it gets frothy. Look at that. Ooh, it smells good. Now I got it ready for my team call because that's in two minutes. I have to send an email. Oh! Alrighty, so I am back from my dermatologist appointment. I'm a little flush just from being outside. Um, but yeah, it went well. I didn't get anything removed. What's really cool about uh, my new doctor. What's wrong, Evie? Hold on, I gotta see what's wrong with Eve. She just wanted to play a second with her, with her toy. Um, but they have pictures from my last appointment of any, you know, more notable moles, areas of my body, and then they just check them straight against the pictures to see if there's been any change um, or whatnot. And then if I have any questions, I, of course, can ask them about it. Um, but the reason that I go, I go every six months, is because it was actually melanoma cancer that we lost my dad to and so just given my skin type um, and family history it's just important that I go and get checked out and um, yeah that's that's that I do think I, I always like to share it I like to be vocal about it um, because you might just think, hey, I've never even been to the dermatologist before to get my skin checked. You might not even know something looks off. Um, and so I encourage you to make dermatologist appointments regularly. Um, skin cancer, melanoma, all that is ruthless. Um, but the best thing about it, which sounds weird to say, is that it does show itself. Um, now Evie's growling at something. Anyways, I'll wrap this up. Um, it shows itself, and so if we are aware of our bodies, we can catch it soon. And um, yeah, so I'm back from that. It's raining, um, but it's like 2.30, so I still have some work I have to do, laundry to fold. But yeah, Peter is on the call, um, but hopefully the work day will be done soon. Hello. There's a... Uh... Some kind of zesty new salad, quinoa salad Sarah's making. Yeah. I got it from that Love and Lemons book. I'll link it below. Some Looks delicious. Grilled, Smells delicious. Grilled peppers, not fried peppers, which is how I usually go. Sarah's getting funky with herself. Look at this. We got some chips, vegan ranch, on this delicious quinoa pepper black bean bowl. Are you so excited? Yeah. Let's eat. Oh, fancy, fancy car. It looks really similar to ours. It does. Just super, super fresh and does a bunch of stuff on its own. It's got a big screen. And we're low-key going to Disney World right now. Ew. It's been a long 
it has been. <laughs> and we have been meeting, like we, this is our third Hollywood Studios Park Pass, and it's the first time we're actually using it. Hey Look at this sight. I mean, it looks rainy, <laughs> but we're getting an hour and a half of studios. Yes. And we're going to try to milk our evening, but we'll show you later about that. <laughs> This is interesting. It's an hour and a half left on a Monday, and it's 85 minute wait for Mickey and Minnie, and it's 50 or 55 for Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah, we thought we were gonna stroll in here and have a long wait time. And there's a there's a good chunk of people here yeah. still. I guess there's a lot has changed since we've been here as far as like restrictions and potentially like more states being allowed to come back in and a capacity change in the parks. Um, but yeah, we'll figure out something to do, but we really thought we'd do Mickey Minnie. I thought we'd do Mickey Minnie, and I thought that... Oh yeah, because we didn't put a vlog up that day, because we, we raced really them. Ooh. Fun <laughs> and I wanted to get on Rock and Roll Coaster, but we'll see. Maybe towards the end of park. You guys know we like the Disney Park smells anyway, so... Yeah. Disney Junior always brings me back to my Disney store days. And there's a, like, a convertible parade coming. And I've never seen it cars. before. Sarah said it's in our vlog, but she also said you don't want that vlog. <laughs> yeah, fancy Nancy. Yeah, Doc! Woo! I love you, Doc! Yeah, Vampirina. We were worried because this sign came down for a little bit, but they replaced it with a spanking brand new one. And that's a good, we have confidence that that means Voyage will come back. And at least we'll be here for, I still think it's going to go sooner rather than later. Don't say that. But I think that means it's going to be here for at least like another year or so probably. I know when I worked at Disney last year, I saw the financials on how much it costs to like mm. simply put something like that sign up that you could think of as like, oh, they might have it. They might put it in the house. Maintenance puts it up. So no, like there's so many like little nuances of finance and contractors and permits that they spend a pretty penny just to put that sign back there. So that means... For a little, bit. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. We just took a stroll through Toy Story Land and we remembered that that orchestra situation is happening in Beauty yeah. and the Beast Theater. So we're gonna head back to Sunset. I did check out the line for Slinky because I haven't been on it in like six months, but it's a 40 minute wait right now. Yeah. And we'd rather go stroll. Yeah, but Toy Story Land is only 25, so that's. That could be potential because we can both go on that. Yeah, after the orchestra. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I just love Toy Story. Yeah. Feels good to be back in this. Yeah, and there's the fan time, there's a breeze. Today you're going to hear some familiar tunes from right here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Now this next number will take us to a hive of villainy and scum in a galaxy far, far away. songs from here at Disney's Hollywood Woo! Studios. Today. How are the weights? Do I do slinky? 
45 minutes. Actually, I think we should go because I, our plan may get ruined because I just saw lightning. And the idea is for us to take the Skyliner from here to the hub, the hub to Crescent Lake International Gateway. Yeah. And one, I want to beat the rush because I feel like I may be a little busy. But two, I just saw lightning and technically the Skyliner's going to go down if that lightning strike was within 10 miles. Oy vey. So I feel like we should go. Yeah. So we don't get Send stranded. Me. I really hope we don't get stranded at like the hub or Riviera. I have to take like, an Uber or a bus <laughs> to like Springs and a bus back to studios. It's the risk I'm willing to take. Yeah, but that's the that's the plan. Was then we can just hang out at Crescent Link for a while and then walk back to the car, even though it'll be a bit of a walk. Yeah. But we'll be restful, so Sarah we should feel up for it. And worst comes to worst, I'll go get the car and come pick you up <laughs> from Crescent Link. But that's the plan. All right, Skyline is still going, so we better get on because that's looking scary. At least it'll be a funny evening if we get booted at the hub or Riviera. As long as we get to the boardwalk slash beach club, we'll be fine. Yeah. I have not been on these since the last time, the last day before everything closed, and I was on it for 12 hours. We thought, thought we were done for. <laughs> Wait, we haven't started moving again yet. We're stuck. The rain is getting so close. It is so breezy here. It was breezy. Anyways, you hear the... Or was that an airplane? That's an airplane. <laughs> All right. Now it gets really exciting because if lightning strikes, we'll get evac off at Riviera at least, if not. Crescent Lake. At it's funny that Lake. like we have to take three lines to get to Ed Cat from Studios. Welcome aboard, I And we can walk there. You are on the Disney Skyliner at Disney's this Caribbean Beach Resort. You'll never believe it. We're literally, look how close we are. We're literally like two minutes walking away from the station and we were close enough to hear them announce it at the station. Lightning strike. Closing down the Skyliner. Lightning strike. Oh my gosh, perfect timing. I mean, obviously it might still rain, but at least we can hang out in a lobby or something at the resort. We'll walk around in the rain, you guys know. We, uh, <laughs> we don't mind that. Yeah, and the walk back to studios isn't bad. Plus we have as much time as we want because Unlike Epcot, like you have to go through the park to get back to the parking lot, whereas the walkway to studios, you don't enter the park at all. Um, what did they do to my beautiful solarium? They turned it into a ship. I actually love it. But it's like full on, they've got like sandwiches over there, they have the resort TV and Soren's playing. And look at this, they've got plant-based chocolate mousse. Oh yeah. Sarah also heard about some Chef TJ Vegan, vegan tachos over on the corner yeah, potentially. Been here. We might have to check that out. Um, yeah, they're redoing the shop and the food area. Yeah, that's like that's where this typically is. So that's why they made this makeshift solarium. Oh, those are so those cute. Those are so cute. Those are so cute. This is like Brookhart Project. Our colors yeah. and our gingham. Oh. oh my gosh, I think I named those. Oh, this is a quiet boardwalk. It's super quiet. Super beautiful. Yes, it is. I really hope Abercadabra is open. So we are going to try Martha's Vineyard. But Chef TJ, who does the vegan style tachos, was not working right now. He probably could do it, even though he's not there. He makes it funky. Yeah. Um, so we decided on Abercadabra. That's where everybody else wanted to go tonight. There's a line. So we're going to hang out here, see if the line gets shorter. And maybe, just maybe try to go in. Well, I got a magic mirror for an Abracadabra. Um, we did get Abra fries, not a vegan switch out. And what the heck? These are not the tower of fries that they used to have. We have to put in the fries that we got with the Earhearts. Yeah, these are good. We just texted the Earhearts saying, but what I'm the heck? I, we texted the Earhearts and we're like, what is this? 
And she goes, what? Those look like Wendy's fries. <laughs> They're lemony. That's an aioli. They have Parmesan cheese and truffle oil. But I'm like truly confused. What's your beer's name? It's a cider. It's called Ace Joker I from California. Um, we came out of Avocadab Bar and it's raining and we have We've got about a mile walk to our car that way. So this will be interesting. All right, so here's the game plan. We're gonna walk inside the boardwalk as far as we can to the end of the building. Then we're gonna escape outside and we'll, we'll get soaked in about- It's not that bad. Five minutes. It's not totally but, yet. But we checked the radar and it's not gonna be done for like another, fully done for like another 40 minutes. And right. we will hopefully be home by then. We like to go in this resort if you didn't know also our waitress has been at avocadabra for over a year and she's never seen those other fries so jokes on us okay what does this remind everybody of put it in the comments because i'll tell you what it reminds me of crashing the Earhart's room and riling some little kids up i really jinxed it Casey Neistat did not put up a video today. Alrighty, daily message for today. If you wish to be loved, love. Lucius Anicus Seneca. That's how mad you looked. <laughs> I did look really mad, didn't I? Um, it's late, we're going to bed. It was a really fun day, it was really rainy. We get our car back tomorrow, it's all done. Yay, done. easy peasy. Just one day with our little rental. But it was worth it. Yeah. Good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.